let every word you say or that is spoken over you can be a blessing or a curse. You choose the words of the wise. Your mind is like an open vessel, unwelcome words can drop in from men and Mr. Friends and everybody in between, including you. The truth is you can't stop the words from flying in, but you can choose which ones you let stay and which ones you kick away. Trust me, it's gonna be a wrestle. But you are the ultimate fighter and the one who decides what words will define you and what words will not. A word to the wise. You're only wise if you take my advice. You've got a scale. You're the one who is responsible for weighing up your words before one sound should be heard. I never mince my words and mix them with bolognese sauce. I speak really indirectly, but weigh up the words first, lest I speak some negative words. So I'm here to bring a word that is in season. I don't talk without reason. This is me interfering with the way your mind is programmed. So if you want to be a man or woman of your word, then say that you'll do what you just heard and let your actions speak louder than your words. And in case you don't have all your conflicts in one box, you're a few peas short of a casserole, few sandwiches short of a picnic, few beers short of a six pack. If your elevator don't go all the way to the top floor, let me make my last statement in this argument to which none of y'all can reply to object or ignore. Pretty soon the Mrs. MC is going to be a household word. Listen to me, mark my words. I just performed the best play on words and I guarantee I'm the one who will be heard because I'm the kind of girl who always gets the last word. Shout out to Inspires. Cheers for the comp. Peace.